Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm having kind of a blast from the past because I'm using the Vision 8KX again and the reason why I do this is I want to measure the FOV in all of the settings with uh, all three programs I used last time with the Pimax Crystal and yeah there is there's some things to to say here because I plugged in the 8KX and it was immediately uh, connected with the Pimax Play software right now I'm using the latest software and yeah it is kind of a cool thing to having no problems with connection or anything also the my three base stations are connected and also the index controllers are connected and why is the device uh, such a cool benefit for vr overall because it was the first really wide fov hmd with a very high resolution so as you can see there there are more tracking options so you can use the device with lighthouse but the cool thing is you also can use the nine axis tracking so if you're for example in a racing game or just in a sim game or even if you're just playing seated vr without controllers then you can use the nine axis tracking and you don't need the lighthouse base stations so for example with a uh, vive pro or with the vio aero uh, you at least need one base station and you can use the device without base station so that's that's pretty cool uh, also usually there are some more refresh rates here uh, but I don't know why right now there's only the 90 Hertz mode uh, there should be 72 75 or uh, and 60 uh, yeah nothing much here and yeah the very cool thing is you can change the field of view uh, yeah potato is like the smallest then you got small normal and large and large is uh, like super big and I don't think any HMD out there in, in the consumer market has this uh, large field of view and all the other things are quite similar to, to, to the crystal you can set your foveated rendering or it's fixed foveated rendering with no eye tracking and you can of course you can change the resolution here the multiplier and yeah a parallel projection that's uh, yeah uh, some games it is necessary but only with the 8kx and yeah is there something else yeah of course um, I left I uh, forgot something so you can uh, like with the crystal you can uh, manage the IPD offset so in my case uh, the, my, my IPD is uh, 58 and the 8kx only the lowest value is 60 so I can lower the value with the software and so the IPD feels it feels more natural so but those values are uh, they will they will change the, the FOV and the stereo overlap so that's I will, I will uh, leave the, the, the stats as it is with uh, minus uh, 2 so that's my FOV when I use the device okay then I will start with potato we got the the potato mode and I'm getting with with this HMD Q tool I'm getting 100 degrees horizontal and 102 vertical and the overlap with uh, six, uh, 86 is kind of okay and as you can see the reported IPD is 60 but like I said before I 
lowered the value because with the offset. So that's that. And yeah, this is the potato setting. The stereo overlap is quite okay. Like I said, the IPD with 60 and the offset with minus 2. So that's not much at all. 102, 105. And with test HMD, I'm getting vertical FOV with 90 and horizontal FOV with 100 degrees. So that's not so much. And now I'm measuring the small FOV setting. Let's see here. Yes, I'm getting 120 horizontal and the overlap is quite the same. So 120 is already quite impressive. And this is <coughs> sorry, the small setting. And yeah, 122 is quite impressive. I honestly don't know why the stereo overlap is so so small or so less. Um, yeah, but it is what it is. And with the small setting I'm getting a vertical FOV of 100 degrees and a horizontal FOV result with 118. I should say it is 119 because it is like between 120 and 118. Quite impressive. And right now I'm testing the normal FOV setting. And wow, 140 degrees. That's very impressive. We'll go to the next FOV test now. Very curious. And now the result with the normal setting. 142 is kind of this is very impressive, and also the horizontal, uh, the vertical FOV with 106 degrees, really good. The funny thing, the stereo overlap. I don't know. Okay, it is it is in it's a percentage. Yeah. This is, yeah, of course, you got a way larger FOV and the overlap in percentage is, is smaller. Very, very good. 124, uh, 142 is very impressive. And the result with normal FOV settings, 100 vertical and 138 horizontal, which is more like 139, same as before. It is between. Wow, very, very impressive. And now I brought out the big gun. Field of view setting is set to large. Also, you can see here the resolution is very high. And yeah, let's see what we are getting here. <laughs> yes. 160 degrees field of view. That's very impressive. Oh my. Yeah, let's see what about the next, uh, what's my FOV and test HMD. And wow, <laughs> 162 FOV. Oh, this is a uh, horizontal FOV. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away because it has been like tw 10, 10 months since I last used the, the, uh, the 8KX. And yeah, the, the, the funny thing is this here, this is absolutely true. You can, when I'm in the large FOV mode, it feels like this little bump here, but it is so great to have such a high FOV, but of course it is the bummer with the with the visual overall quality because it is nothing near the crystal. It is immediately noticeable and also 
things like super sampling that's nothing uh, you will get uh, any any benefit in, in terms of clarity so it, of course it looks a little bit smoother or, or that you have less anti-aliasing or aliasing but you need then the, the, the crystal lenses and everything to achieve this this great picture quality and with the uh, large FOV settings I'm getting vertical 100 degrees and mind-blowing 158 horizontal field of view so <laughs> oh, it is uh, such a bummer that there is nothing like the 12k here but I know where Pimax is aiming and they will announce something very very cool really soon so stay tuned and I hope you like the video and yeah the whole stuff if you want me to test something just reach out to me I'm kinda liking testing this kind of stuff okay goodbye